The bike has been parked for the winter and I haven't started it in about three months. So let's take a look at the voltage. Right now I can see 11.4. I hope it can uh, come out on the camera. Let's uh, try to start the bike. Wow, completely dead. Completely dead. If you have a dead battery, there are a couple of things to do to avoid that. One is you need to put the battery on some sort of trickle charger. This is the one that I decided to go with, NOCO. I have plenty of experience with NOCO products on my cars. I've used them extensively on all my cars. I trust them. Very, very effective, very dependable. They always do the job, okay? So I decided to get this type of charger and this charger has an adapter that converts it into an SAE end. And then you plug this into your pig pigtail, your SAE adapter basically, and this will charge your battery, okay? Now, if your battery dies and you need to jump it, what do you do, right? So what you have to do is actually find a way to get to the battery and attach these alligator clips to it. Now, if you are owners of a Rebel 1100, you know how difficult that is and what a pain in the ass it is to take the tray out and to reach inside. It's not very easy. And uh, trust me when I tell you, it's a pain, okay? In the past, I have a video from a few years ago where I demonstrated uh, this one. This is the Skosh, and it works great. Um, I don't trust it 100% because they actually had a harness that connects the battery and it has an attachment to the outside where you plug it directly into the unit without the need to remove the tray. However, when I put it to the test, it didn't work effectively. There are other people that reported the same thing and as a result, they actually discontinued that adapter, okay? Fast forward, I wanted a system that I'm able to just attach it directly from the outside to the bike, to the battery, and jump start it that way without the need to actually remove the, the battery tray, right? So this is the system that I came up with. Um, let's put these off to the side. Noco sells this adapter, right? You plug this into the, the battery, it's always there, it's permanent, and this is the end, okay? Now, this end will plug directly into the actual booster to make it easier to just plug it in in this fashion, turn the unit on, and you can jump start it. So this is what I'm going to demonstrate. I'm gonna install this on the bike to see it, does this system work or not. When you buy this harness, it comes with this adapter. This adapter will plug right in over here, and you see the way that uh, the other side is. This will allow you to plug it into that charger that we were talking about. So you can plug this in directly, and this would be your trickle charger to maintain the battery. I tried a different method and I failed miserably. I'm gonna include a little bit of a footage so you guys can see, and I burnt one of the fuses. This is the jump starter that I got. It's nice and small, compact, as you guys can see. And what's cool about this is that I was able to get one of these adapters, so it plugs into the SAE, and then this plugs in over here. Okay, it's plugged in right now. It's on and let's give it a try. Let's check the voltage one more time. It's not working. Do you see what I mean? All right, I'm gonna install the harness and then we're gonna test out this uh, NOCO GB40 booster. They make a smaller one called the GB20, but the price difference is so small, it's not even worth it. It's exactly the same size. The reason why I hesitated to get something like this is because of the form factor. As you can see how big this is, relative to the Skosh, how small it is, right? But I guess uh, with the larger bags, this is gonna be okay to carry. Okay, the harness is installed. Let's try to start the bike now. Still completely dead. 
Okay. Key off. Let's connect the jump starter. It's on. Turn it on. When you see that symbol, it means that it's ready. Okay, let's try to fire it up. See if it works. Ignition on. There you go, we have success. Let's plug in the charger to see if that works as well. Okay, let's plug in the charger. The voltage is so low that it's not... Ah, uh, oh, there it is. Do you guys see the red? Okay, so good to go. I hope you guys found this helpful. Have an amazing day.